So what you're gonna need here, the Phillips head screwdriver. I'm using this tool because I need it, because it's sharp to get into this little piece here. Um, you use whatever works for you. It's a plastic <laughs> pry tool and a guitar pick, which is not a guitar pick. These screws do come out. That's a super long guy. That's a super long guy. This is probably going to be a shorter screw since it was under that. And if it's another long screw, I don't know why I used to it. And it's another not as long screw. <laughs> this is going to be hard to get into because you're going to go for this lip here. I'm going to from the corner. So do you always start at like the top corner when you begin picking? Um, it really depends. Um, I would typically probably try to start at the back of the unit just in case you do scuff it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not visible. gonna have to disconnect that. Put that out. It comes out. Flip that. It comes out. Flip that. It comes out. Perfect. Boom. Have your keyboard deck. And that's gonna be your keyboard here. That's your trackpad there. And this is your backlight from your keyboard here. Okay, so obviously what you have here is your easy to replace stuff, speakers, battery. Take this out, you're gonna have to remove the battery first. So, let's get that done. crazy about it because it's a solid connection but I'm just gonna like get up in there you see that you see these pins here you don't have to be but so careful all right you got one two you're gonna have a screw over here again this is gonna avoid your warranty for touching that but Given the size of this laptop, I'm going to assume it's a nine and a half millimeter capable carrier. If it wasn't, I would be very surprised. Yeah. And if you're getting into your Wi-Fi business here, you're gonna have to pop these leads off. Pop them leads. Disconnect the fan. This is what cools your processor in your unit. This little fan over here. So get that piece out of there. That's one. Then you got this. This is for your speakers here. You want to get that out of your way. That's two. And this here is for your USBs and stuff over there on the side. Get that up out your way. Yeah, so this is actually your connection to your screen, your monitor over here, EP, super, I don't know, oh my gosh. What is it, a sticker? Yeah, it just helps to lay it flat over there. And getting these out is a real pain, so just be careful. That wasn't 
too careful, so. <laughs> there and the last but not least most annoying thing about this whole shebang is you're actually gonna have to mess with this over here as well so this is going to be your hinge for your laptop but in order to actually get the motherboard out I had to mess with that joint too and in what situation would you remove your motherboard for uh, if there's some sort of upgrade you wanted to do Maybe you want to repaste your proc or your video card, maybe you're having heating issues, something along those lines. Otherwise, you pretty much would never want to do this, so. So these things are actually pretty strong. And anyway, now that we've done that part of the thing, the next thing we're gonna do is take out these screws for the motherboard itself, which is gonna be here there and they're actually marked so if you look at it there's this little triangle see that little triangle that's good to, to note that triangle that's the notate where these go in the board look at that here we go so what you have here and memory memory M.2, this appears to only be a SATA drive, so we'll have to check on what the capabilities of this slot is. I think that's already listed. And that's it on this side of the board. So if you want to do a memory upgrade or you want to do an M.2 SATA upgrade or maybe NVMe, you'd have to flip the board. If you're having any problems with your temperatures, you'd have to flip the board and repaste. Or 16, 16 in this thing, it's a monster. Again, goes in on an angle, clippy clips, good stuff. This is going to be L256 SK Hynix, Santa Drive. with it but it doesn't matter it's gonna stay just fine there's little clips in there and stuff that'll hold it in place get a nice little tug again because I like to plug in the rest of your stuff plug your speakers back in plug in your little USB slash SD card slash what is that audio jack little add on board over there plug in your fan for your cooling here this cable is run in this little whatever the heck that is channel. Put this back in. Oh, boom. A little pull tab is nice and handy. Get it seated back under there so it's not annoying and in the way.
leads back on. Some people will tell you it matters what goes where. It doesn't. It doesn't? It doesn't. They're both antennas. So it doesn't really matter. Again, the tabs on the battery. Right there. It's gonna clip under there, make sure you get that clip. To the annoying part. So getting these connections in, obviously is gonna be a bit of a pain. Keep that in mind, you wanna have all your stuff kinda of ready to go. You want that up, it's actually gonna insert from the front here. Normally it would be this clips down onto it, but it's the reverse. It's gonna go like this. in there is quite a pain. So, sorry if you can't see this, so make sure that's seated. Flip it down, come over here, there's your backlight, get that seated. Boom. And last but not least, keyboard. So it does slide in once again, on this white side, and that's that. Now that all those connections are in, start for the process. This is kind of annoying right here, getting these bottom clips, so you want to have a hand on both sides, and you're good to go. Again, the only screw that was a different length was the one that was hidden under this little piece here, so we're just gonna go ahead and get that in. A million screws later, and we'll have put these things back together. Not sure if a million is the correct number, but I think it's pretty close. Give or take a thousand. Yeah, you know. No extra screws, that's always a great sign. Give it one good press once again. Everything is good to go. Uh.